here every day he could. When he didn't have school, he was here 10 hours if he could be. The escape from COVID for Barrett Worth Crosley was the Buckley Skate Park. It's what he wanted to do when he grew up. I started his own skateboard company. Designed, he designed that logo all by himself. His mom was glad he had an outdoor activity, but she always worried about his safety. He was very good at taking his helmet, but never wearing his helmet even though I preach to him every day, wear your helmet. Earlier this month, Barrett crashed, and four days later, he died from a subdural hematoma. His brain had been injured and was bleeding. I think they got there and Doctors told his mother a helmet yeah, would have likely saved his life. She started a foundation, Wear It for Barrett, to encourage helmet use. As someone who has lost their child because of this, that pain is something I never want anyone to feel. As a firefighter, I have seen way too many uh, kiddos uh, pass away. So I'm going to fit you up here, okay, boss? Last year, State Representative Dan Griffey secured $20,000 yeah, in grant funding for first responders to buy and pass out helmets to kids who need them. The representative was prompted to act after seeing a King 5 News series on Riker Aiden Schellings, a Seattle 19-year-old who nearly died after suffering a traumatic brain injury while skateboarding without a helmet. Representative Griffey says Barrett's story should help get that funding approved again this year. You know, and it sounds to me, tragically, we have another family that may be willing to uh, uh, work hard on that uh, endeavor. I want to break that stigma and no one's too cool for brain damage. Because of the injury, Barrett's organs were passed on to four people, including a child who now has Barrett's heart. He's going to live on forever, but we want to keep his legacy alive and keep families from feeling this hurt and just change the world because that's what he would do. The sign here at the Buckley Skate Park says helmets are strongly recommended, but they're not required. That could change tomorrow night because of what happened here. The Buckley City Council is looking at making helmets mandatory for all skateboarders, not just here at the park citywide. Barrett's mother says that's great, but she wants much more done. Live in Buckley, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.